You want to come over here? Glide against, against the wall. Bass? How do you guys know uh, Casey? Oh yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's his uh, his nephew <coughs> or his uncle. My first cast with the jerk bear right here, freaking um, it bit. It started dragging, dragging, and it snapped off. Oh, yeah, it was right here too. It broke off? Yeah. No way. Oh, bro. Oh. From the knock? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the only glide too. Okay. <sighs> that's just gonna be stuck in his mouth. He's jumping again. Come on, bro. I think I think the best are on the, that one now. Yeah, seems like it too. Did it fight pretty good? Yeah, that was real. Damn. Yeah. Oh, that's a Do you see where my, my worm went? Perfect dive. See them. Oh shoot. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I saw another big one with it, so I'm gonna toss this one back over here so he, he doesn't tell his friend so I'm 
big one with it. Got him this time. Got him this time. Got him this time. Ah, oh, number four. Little dinks, but it's still fun. Perfect release. My worm over this small one. Ten out of ten. Ooh, nice. Alright, so uh, one of my buddy he wanted me to teach him how to use drop shot. So basically you just just throw it to where you wanna uh, well just cast it to where you wanna well Cast it to a spot. Let it drop all the way. So I don't know if you can see the slack line. Basically, you're just gonna slowly twitch it on the slack line, so that the worm will be floating, floating in the mid uh, mid water, mid air in the, inside the water. So just slowly twitch it, and then once once start feeling thump like right now, it's a bite. Ooh, missed him. Once you start feeling tap, 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 or once you stop feeling, if once you, once you stop feeling, start feeling re resistant. There we go. Like right now, you see how it's dragging it? There we go. Got it. Small one. Oh, barely hooked. Oh, nope, yep. Super small one. Ooh, I'm sorry. Yep, you know, sometimes a small one can mess up your line. There we go. Got it. Alright, let me teach you guys again. Drop shotting. Alright, probably like a, a foot and a half liter. So for me I like to uh to nose hook it. I like to nose hook it so that it'll so that the tail will be freely uh swimming in mid-air when I'm touching it.
catch you, boy. I'm gonna catch you. He's probably full. I took my worm. It's full with that. There's another bush pile over here. So let's try it though, right behind it. He got it. He got it. Nope. He didn't get hooked, so he should come back. Should come back. It's like if you're eating a burrito, someone took out the burrito from your mouth. Oh, you got it. You got it this time. Ugh, got him. You're the one, huh? This guy, TJ. Grow bigger, TJ. You can never go wrong, or you can never skunk using a drop shot. I caught one of my biggest bass, a largemouth bass at Hensley Hensley Lake, uh, located in Madeira, with a drop shot. It waited like. I think six on a dot I'll link that uh, video it's on my uh, channel I'll put it up at the corner this way or this way up here so you guys can click on it and go watch it it was with the same setup eight pound line Stratic CF4 the champion Siri Dobbins same setup same technique that's how I that's how I caught my uh, my six pound at uh, Hensley Lake. Comment down below what's uh you guys uh, biggest fish off a of drop shot, cause I know that drop shot you can catch small to big fish. And I think Damien Tao caught a a double digit at Eastman using a uh, same uh, same technique the drop shot morning dawn too. I don't usually throw a drop shot, but it's fun catching fish, and I don't like just skunk. Even though my name is Gooksy.